welcome back today is a boxycharm day for the month of march before i get into it you know that i always let you know what i fell in love with from the box before for last month so let's get into it the first one that i thought was going to be my favorite for the month of february was the cream blush by wander beauty i absolutely love the packaging i love how they thought about having like a second stack to it with a lip balm but i absolutely love the cream blush like this made me fall in love with cream blushes hence is why i tried the elf one and now i'm like all about them oh my goodness the formula is amazing and I love the fact that this is so compact and small that you can travel with it. But I also was thinking like you wanted to throw this in your purse, but it's like you live in a super hot summer. Like the cheek part can totally like get moldy, damage out, melt, you know, all of that. So I'm just like, uh, that wouldn't be great. Then I was trying the lip balm. You guys, this lip balm completely cracked my lips out on the corners. Like it completely dried out my lips. It did not last long at all on my lips. And I just, I went straight back to my Bali lip balm that I got like a couple of months ago, which I absolutely, I'm in love with it. And I hate that it's $33. <laughs> But you guys, I'm so sad because this is like half good. I love the little mirror in it, but the lip balm did not work for me at all. The formula was so bad for my lips personally that it wasn't fun. My lips started peeling more than usual. This just, just didn't last long. It wasn't moisturizing. It came off of my lips pretty fast. But I'm just so sad because the blush, I love the formula. It's absolutely gorgeous. It did not interrupt my foundation whatsoever. It was just great to work with and just to learn how to use like cream blushes on my face. So I give this one like obviously half and half. I thought this was gonna be my favorite, but when I tried that lip balm, y'all, it was just not, no, absolutely not. I'm so sorry. My favorite that really shocked me that I am picking for the month of February is the Saturday Skin Yuzu Vitamin C um, Sleep Mask. This is so good, you guys. It actually almost gave me the same results as a Tatcha mask, like the ones that that cost $12 and you put on your face for a few minutes. I woke up the next morning and this literally just gave my face and my skin a boost back to life. My skin looked glowy, it looked radiant, it looked full of hydration, it did not look dull at all. If you have dry patchy skin like I do, I would recommend this because this is it just totally helping my dry patchy skin. I haven't seen like my dry patchy skin in a little bit now and I've used this for the past couple of weeks it it does recommend that you you can use it three to five times a week but I am NOT gonna put my face through that much like just like I think that would be a little too much for my skin personally so I did try it twice a week overnight this would be the last thing that I would put on my face at nighttime and then just leave it on the next morning rinse off my face and it just gave me that that really type of like glow within and the moisture I felt just my face just looks so nice and like not dull like just super clean and great and I was just like which like are you serious so I like oh my gosh I recommend this this is so good I finally found something from Saturday skin that I absolutely I'm falling in love with and it does come with this little thing but I don't use that I do use this part and just kind of like dab it on my face and rub it in the little like zest peels in it completely rub away into your skin and it just feels so good on the skin it smells great oh my goodness i really like this you guys so this is my favorite for the month of february let's get into this month's boxy charm i already peeked into this month's boxy charm because i got it a couple of days ago and my mom was like hey you bought makeup i'm like no mom this is my subscription that's already paid for every month and she's like oh yeah your boxy charm so yeah so we opened it together because she wanted to see what i got so i peeked in it and i am i am ecstatic i am excited I'm like, holy crap, there is some bougie seriousness going on in this box. I'm so excited. I did watch Manny's unboxing, and usually he is the only one that I watch unboxings now with BoxyCharm, because he does all three of them, and he does like the whole pricing thing and stuff like that. So, card, here we go. The theme is lucky. We are on St. Patrick's Day. 
The first thing we got was the Lime Crime Venus 3 Eyeshadow Palette. You guys, I finally, finally get to try Lime Crime's eyeshadow formula and I'm really praying and hoping that the shimmers do not give me a reaction because I'm gonna be so sad packaging it's like a box it just opens up this is the what the Venus 3 and this is what it looks like super pretty I've seen this around it's not a new new palette but I'm I've never tried their eyeshadow palettes before I love their lip liners I like their lipsticks. They're a little bit um, on the dry side for me, but not super bad to the extent where like it sucks the life out of my lips. So I'm excited for this. This runs for $38. I finally get to try their damn formula. <laughs> so this palette is filled with Rapturous Lilac Rose Gold Mauve and Earthly Brown Shades, which I absolutely love, especially the mauve tones. The Ultra Buttery Formula sweeps on rich, richly pigmented color that doesn't fade or fall out. The Dreamy Lavender and Rose Gold box is graced with Venus herself. So that is the little um, description on that palette. Let's move on to the next one. You guys, I've never tried Glow Recipe before. And when Manny was talking about this, I was just like, oh, bitch, we're getting like some bougie stuff in this. I thought this was going to be a little bit more expensive, but maybe because this is the small one, I'm not sure. Like I said, I've never used this brand before. This is the Banana Souffle Moisture Cream, a soothing, lightweight moisturizer that seals in lasting hydration without clogging pores. That is good because I do not need that. It's non comedogenic you might know what i'm talking about but that is a kind of wow that's a word that anyone can mess up unless you really know how to pronounce that and non-acnegenic making it especially good for sensitive skin blended with banana chai seed or chia seed because some people pronounce that differently magnesium turmeric or turmeric and Sika or Sika. It's your recipe for hydrated, healthy looking skin. This runs for $39. Let's see if it smells like anything. You guys, yeah. Even my mom was like, whoa. Um, she did say it smelled like banana. So we're going to see if it does. I don't smell it. I don't smell it at all. I'll put a little bit on my hand and rub it in to see if it does give an odor of banana oh that feels nice it feels like it's a really like water based I don't smell bananas at all but it could be that I just applied lotion on my hands so that could be the reason why I did just apply the Victoria's Secret coconut lotion on my hands but that is the second thing and I'm excited about that because even though I'm using the I think it's by pharmacy the green one that I mentioned in my last BoxyCharm video. That one, I can't use it all the time and I need like a daily moisturizer. So I hope that adding this one doesn't affect anything. It doesn't give me irrita any irritation. It says that it's sensitive skin. So let's see how that goes. The next one is Maven Beauty. It's a Maven Rose Water Setting Spray. Set your intentions and your makeup with this Aura Lifting Antioxidant Packaged Rose Water Setting Spray. Mist all over your finished look to lock it down and prevent smudging for up to 16 hours. This one's for $22. It's a new launch. I don't know if it's just a new product launch or a new company that launched because I've never heard of this company before. And this is a makeup setting spray. This is 3.38 ounces. It can last up to 24 months. It's a vegan formula. And you guys, I saw this in Manny's video. I love the neon bright orange. Oh my gosh. This actually looks like the same color of the Stallion's uh, Grammy dress. That bright neon orange. I love that. Let's see. I didn't put any setting spray on my face, but I'm not going to do that right now because... Oh, that the spray is nice. I have glasses on and obviously I can't do that. It doesn't smell like anything. So we're going to be trying that out because you know my holy grail is my Morphe setting spray. And I'll just be sp skeptic now on like using other setting sprays. But we're going to be testing that out and seeing how that goes. And then the next one is v Viziart. You guys, I freaking died. When I saw Viziart in my box, I definitely did not know 
in some of the spoilers that I sort of saw but was like scrolling really fast through. I did know about the palette but I wasn't sure if I was going to get the palette. Viseart, yeah, had no clue. This is the Seamless Eye Primer. It runs for $24 and the Seamless Eye Primer works with all eyeshadows to ensure crease free and vibrant wear. You know I'm definitely going to try this out because any other eye primer I have tried you guys does not work for me. Not even the Urban Decay one. And some of my favorite influencers swear by the Urban Decay primer and for me it just did not work. I actually gave it away. And I always just go back to my Smashbox. It's just been my holy grail since day one. It's never given me any issues with any type of eyeshadow formula and it's just that's my ride or die you guys. So gonna be trying the Viseart professional makeup eye primer so does it come out clear or does it have a color to it is there anything in the tube oh okay it's clear all right i'm gonna be trying that out definitely so let's check out the uh, last item but yeah you guys like viziar in a boxy charm that sort of blew my mind i was like what i'm all about it so seraphine botanicals apple bomb glow lip mask have I ever tried a lip mask before? I don't think so. I did, wait, my Soap and Glory one, but it was like one of those lip mask patches that you put on for a few minutes. It was never like in a lip balm form. This runs for $25. I don't think I've ever heard of this brand either. Boost hydration and glow with this protective lip mask formulated with shea butter. Apricot plus Jojo butter and rose hip oils that works synergistically to keep lips chapped free soothe and plump all at once it's made with green apple and pineapple extracts to help rid lips of unsightly dead skin cells and fine fine lin because it's l-i-n i don't know if they just forgot the e and the s but yeah that's how it finishes off so yeah you guys 25 dollars that pineapple and that green apple Makes it sound like, why does this look familiar? What else comes in a tube like this? This looks very familiar, like I've seen it in Sephora before, but I am not sure. Okay, cool, it has the seal on it. I'm gonna open it because I wanna smell, to see if it smells like pineapple and the apple. So let me tear this off. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's pink, it's pink. Oh, I smell the apple in this, this is exciting. I definitely smell the apple in that. <gasps> you guys, oh my goodness. And this is cruelty free and vegan. Can last up to 24 hours. And it has 0 0.51 ounces in this for $25, you guys. Y'all, I'd be scared to be falling in love with some of these things because they are expensive and I don't wanna repurchase it. <laughs> All right, you guys, so those are my five items that I got this month. In this month's boxy charm i think my total value was 147 dollars if i remember correctly from doing the math yesterday but i always put it on the bottom for you guys so you can see my total and i only pay 26 dollars a month so there's that and i'm all about saving money right now and this is literally the only subscription box that i have now coming to the house yeah i'm excited to be getting some bouginess for this month in my box i'm so excited to try these things out you guys let me know in the comments down below what you got this month i love you guys thank you so much if you are interested in this look i did record it and i will post it up above for you guys it was a whole grammy thing if you missed it on my channel i love you guys please be kind stay safe and i'll see you in a couple of days bye